with new technologies and equipment. Innovative designs and applications. They're all part of the Bureau of Reclamation's continuing efforts to provide safer and more cost-effective answers to water resource questions. And these state-of-the-art technologies are available to water resource interests both in the United States and abroad. For more than 85 years, the Bureau has been a leader in large and small dam construction, irrigation systems, hydropower generation, operation and maintenance programs, planning, and a host of other water resource activities. Over the years, the Bureau has evolved to meet changing water requirements. Now, Bureau planners and operators strive to optimize water system operations, to make more efficient use of existing systems, to better manage surface and groundwater, and to protect water quality and the environment. Today, the Bureau's wide assortment of new technologies and innovations comes in many different forms. Jet flow gates, for example, have replaced old and sometimes hazardous needle valves in 25 Bureau dams. The new gates will provide safer operations and improve the discharge characteristics of the outlet works. Cavitation has been a problem since water delivery facilities were first constructed. Introducing air into high-velocity tunnel jets helps to prevent cavitation. This is done by constructing air slots and deflector ramps around the tunnel. Dam modifications are required to safely accommodate new flood routings. A low-cost option to substantially increase storage may be to raise the height of the dam using reinforced earth. The height of this dam was raised to increase water storage. This modification included the development of a labyrinth spillway at a considerable cost savings over reconstruction using a more conventional design. This is the largest spillway of its kind in the world. Constructed more than 70 years ago, this dam is in a high seismic area and is subject to failure should a major earthquake occur. It's being modified to ensure its safety. The dam is being strengthened by replacement of portions of the embankment, by dynamic consolidation, and by constructing soil creek columns using the soil mixing wall method. The waterways are also being extensively modified and strengthened. Controlling or reducing high construction costs has always been an objective of the Bureau. It pioneered the use of roller compacted concrete with slip formed faces at this dam. Here was also constructed a stair stepped spillway chute capable of dissipating energy in its discharge, thus shortening the length of the stilling basin. Both of these developments significantly reduced construction costs. One of the most immediate, cost effective and acceptable means of developing additional electrical power is to uprate existing hydro generation units. Modern design techniques and materials can increase the efficiency of older hydro generators. The advanced design of insulation allows windings with increased capacity to be installed on existing generators. State-of-the-art electronics is key to sophisticated bureau technologies. Through three-dimensional modeling this computer-aided design and draft system enables engineers to analyze and produce better quality designs. The system will reduce ambiguities in contract drawings and will help to reduce bid prices and later contract claims. Sophisticated field electronics are also used during construction activities. At this dam, foundation grouting was electronically monitored. This allowed much greater control of grouting pressures and a more accurate understanding of grout flows and the results of the grouting program. Reservoir water quality is remotely monitored via satellite. 
Data is collected on water temperature, water quality, and the trophic state. This alerts personnel to potential quality problems and enables them to plan adjustments that may become necessary. Currently being tested by the Bureau is a method to line earth canals without dewatering. This would reduce the interruption of water service and the need to build costly diversion facilities. In a single placement operation, the canal is lined by installing a plastic liner, fabric overlay, and three inches of concrete cover over the liner. The Bureau has constructed or rehabilitated about 480 dams and dikes, and more than 30,000 miles of carriage and distribution systems. Safe and effective operation of these facilities is a continuing concern. To assist in training dam inspectors, the Bureau is producing a series of video training courses that provide complete background on inspection of dams. Over the years, the Bureau has assisted more than 115 countries with their water resource problems. This has included operation, maintenance, management, technical and dam safety training, project design and review, construction oversight and resource and planning assessments. Bureau of Reclamation Technology has played an important role in improving the quality of life throughout the world.